everyone, Electro here. This is just a video on uh, electro forming parts, uh, especially from 3D prints. Now, if you've got, you can't just get a part and plate it with metal to make that part a metal part. The, the plating is far too thin, and if you do increase the thickness of the plating, you you lose the dimensional detail and the accuracy of the part. So, the other way to do it is like this. Um, this is a borrowed dental technique that we've been using for quite some time now. This was developed in the 1930s. Uh, what we do, and in this particular case, I'm using silver powder, but because I'm copper plating, I should be using copper powder, well, but I don't have any, so silver will do, as long as it's um, conductive. Conductive paint is also good enough for this, but uh, again, uh, I don't know how it'll affect the, the end result of the finish of the metal. But anyway, um, what, you, what I've done is put a stainless steel electrode in there. Now you can see there from previous plates it does build up some copper. Uh, that makes contact with the silver powder which in turn is painted over the surface I want to plate. Um, there's my copper plating solution. It's a copper sulphate solution with hydrochloric acid uh, and uh, phenol. Both have both in small amounts and you can either buy this commercially or make it yourself. The recipe is quite easily available on the net. It's just uh, some of it in a bath there, and there's a piece of raw copper. Now, what I do is put the copper in there, put this in the bath in close proximity to the copper, and connect the negative to that. I have it in my power supply. I'll turn that on. As you can see, I'm using less than one volt at about 101 or 2 milliamps. Um, I could go up a little bit more in the milliamps, but for this size of plate, that's about really all I, I need to use. Now, over the next few minutes, I'll pull this back out and show you how the plate's progressing. You should be able to see it after about five minutes or so build up. But it does take about eight hours or so to build up an acceptable thickness. You can leave it in there for up to 24 hours, which will give you about a millimetre thickness uh, in, in copper. Now, here's one I've done previously. Um, I've just filled it up with some plaster. This is just to, to keep it hard, but uh, it, because it's come out of the inside of a silicon mould, this is dimensionally very, very accurate. Now, when I was trimming up the plaster, so I can show you the thickness of the... Um, of the plate, it slipped and I ground the top off my model here just um, as I was grinding it like that, it just got caught out of my hands and fell into the grinding wheel. But for this purpose, it's, it's good enough to show, and that was just to show the, the, the thickness of the copper plate. This is approximately six hours worth of plating. Uh, I've just ripped it up there so you can see it. Um, instead of plaster, you can fill this up with resin. Or anything, but the purpose of this exercise is to show that by doing this method inside a silicon mold, you you'll get an exact replication of the part that you're copying. So you can get a 3D printed part, say a gear or something like that, which you need made in metal. But if you don't have casting facilities or anything like that, it's unavailable. This is a simple electroplating method, which you can use household ingredients to make and um, it'll give you an accurate representation of what you're copying to a, to a pretty good thickness and that'll make like you can make gears for model cars or whatever with this and ornamental objects or jewelry or for whatever you want you know what I mean but again this is just a conversation I was having with Nate and this is how we're doing now I'm just killing a bit of time Oops. See if this has started plating yet. Yeah, there you can see it. See how the copper's starting to form. And if I lift that in there overnight, it should be about a millimetre thick. And again. There's one there.
and that's a tough surface eh? remind you that came off onto a diamond grinding wheel that's why those pieces there are, are chipped off but if it wasn't for that that's um Well, there you go. Any questions? Post your comments. Bye.